What's up guys, this is Jay and Barry with the Columbia Watch Society. And this morning we're going to introduce you guys to a new release by Winfield Watch Company. The Mission Timer 2, which is the second watch in the Mission series. Um, here's the Mission Timer 1. I did a review on this watch in the fall of last year 2019 right after it was released it was released in october this was the first watch that winfield put out the mission timer one um, has kind of a vintage military sport kind of vibe to it and then they uh changed up the dial here for the mission timer two so um specs of these are virtually the same barry's going to run through those real quick yeah, so as Jay said, the specs are very similar between the two, or, or identical as far as we can tell it. Um, and I'll read this straight from the website. So it's the same case. It's a 316L stainless steel with a bead, bead blasted finish. It's got that double gasket screw down crown, so uh, which which speaks to the uh, to the water resistance. I believe we have 200 meter, uh, yeah, 200 meter water resistance, so you can take this thing anywhere thanks to that uh, that screw down crown with that uh, gasket. Um, it's got a 120 click unidirectional bezel, which the bezel action is we've commented on before is is fantastic for watching this price point. There's really no lag. It doesn't. It's very precise when you when you click into another another node there. But um, yeah, just a, a great great bezel all around. Um, the crystal, uh, same dome sapphire with the double AR coating. It's held up nicely on the uh, Mission Timer One. Looks just as good on this one. Um, again, the, the dial is bead blasted brass dial with dark charcoal PVD coating. So just a cool, cool dial with that PVD coating. Um, and Jay's showing here the case back now, just a cool design back there. Also, um, the loom is a extra heavy C3. So the, the loom will just, uh, will just light up. You know, the, if you take that thing in the closet or something, it'll just, it'll just light the world up. It's, it's incredible. Um, Again, water resistance, 200 meters, and a movement is the, the Ronda 715 Li, which is a Swiss quartz with a 10-year battery life, so uh, no worries there. Um, again, it's got magnetic resistance and the anti-shock NIHS 9110 compliant. Not sure what that means, but it uh, sounds good. Um, overall dimensions, again, same as the Mission Timer 1. 41 millimeter diameter, which we find to be a, a very wearable case. Um, and again, that's... 41 millimeter diameter seems kind of large, but when it's a, a 48 millimeter lug to lug, it, it creates a very wearable watch. Um, again, it's a 13 millimeters thick, and again, which uh, not overpowering on the wrist, a good size all around, and um, it's got a universal 20 millimeter lug width, which I prefer on all my watches, so I can switch off all my straps and, uh, and really just uh, enhance my collection. So I'm, I'm, if I can help it, I'm done with, uh, with 22 millimeter lugs and that's pretty much it for the specs so i'll turn it back over to jay all right so as far as strap options this is this a black waterproof leather strap that this watch um, is one of the options this watch comes on um, i have really enjoyed this strap this is the strap that actually came on the mission timer one uh, so i've worn it quite a bit over the last six months it's broken nicely when you first get it it's pretty stiff but the there's a slight break-in period but i mean this watch is or this strap's pretty high quality like and you can wear it in the water and it's not gonna like stain your arm or anything mess up the leather um you've got a signed uh, buckle here from uh, winfield very nice heavy duty hardware uh, and you got two keepers um, Got the red thread on there that it's a nice little aesthetic um, you can also get the watch on a heavy duty nato um, this one's been worn quite a bit it's got stain on it and i actually even cut that the strap off um, just because i like the single pass nato myself but it comes it comes in um you know with the regular that flat piece or whatever. You can get it in multiple colors. I think they got OD green, uh, maybe black, and the Admiral gray. So it's really heavy. This is probably pushing 1.4 millimeters thick. Um, nice, nice drilled holes here. Um, heavy duty hardware. I mean, this is 
I mean, I don't, you, you'll never like, the strap will not fail you. This one, if you're, if you need to take this thing on like some kind of critical mission in the jungle, put it on this NATO strap and forget about it. It ain't going anywhere. Um, so anyway, I, it is quartz watch and in a world of automatics, some watch knobs will not like that. Personally, I have really grown to enjoy the quartz because I can just pick it up and go at any point. And this watch is definitely, um, both of them now have just really become go-to watches. For me, I enjoy wearing these as much as any of the probably 50 watches that I own. Um, these get more wear, uh, probably as much wear as my signature piece, which is my Rolex Submariner, um, which I wear a lot. But these, these, uh, I just love these watches. Perfect size, just really great design. Can't speak highly enough of the owner, Mark Miller. Um, it's pretty cool when you can have a watch on your wrist and you can you know, shoot the owner a message on Instagram or text and literally gets back to you within a couple of minutes and he is a watch guy too so you, uh, we chat all the time about other watches and just a really cool guy um, that's got a really good thing going the team that he's building um, is it, pretty awesome you can check out their website they got their blog they got some some um, just adventure guys rock climber all kind of things on their team so really doing some cool things with social media as well um, so anyway, both of these watches will run $399 straight from their website, um, which I think is a really good deal for um, a micro brand of this caliber. Like I, you compare this watch to other watches that are um, at, at least double the price. You know, if you're into micro brands, this is definitely one you need to look at based out of Maryland. Um, so anyway, Mission Timer 2 just released, the original Mission Timer 1, um, date versus no date, different aesthetic on the dial overall, basically the same build quality on the watch, multiple strap options. Um, when you order the watch, you get this really nifty uh, watch roll made of waxed canvas with the Winfield logo on it super high quality here this is a nice perk um, and as well here is the uh, the box that the watch comes in um, and if you check out our Instagram page at the Columbia Watch Society you'll see that we've worn this watch on like tons of different straps yesterday I had it on this like blue NATO worn it on this uh, you know Barton silicone here's a um, Archer just nylon strap man the, the watch looks great on all these different straps We've even had it on um, had it on this elastic strap um, from Straposphere. You won't zoom in on there as well. Um, just always mixing it up with the different straps. Um, so that's a nice to have a watch this easily and very versatile. Um, also drilled lugs. I don't think Barry mentioned that earlier. Anyway. We're getting kind of long here, uh, so we're gonna uh, cut it off. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Appreciate you guys watching. Reach out if you've got questions or reach out directly to Mark Miller over at Winfield. He'll get back to you as well. Um, thanks guys, you have a good day.